hello friends welcome to vfx pipeline and in this video i will show you one of the cool little tool that can help you to connect to a linux server from windows machine so what's that and that name is putty and uh, you can get this little application from putty.org i don't know some says putty putty i mean i will just say putty okay so putty you can download from putty.org uh, so as you can say that this is this is a ssh and telnet client and uh, which is basically for now in simplify uh, version if i can say that uh, this is a tool that actually give you access to the terminal of a linux server from windows so as you can see that right now i'm in windows 10 and now i have few linux servers that are running on my network so i need to access and i need to maybe uh, do something in their terminal so what i can do is i can start putty so i already installed putty in my system so when you go there the first tab you can see is session and there you need to specify the ip address of the linux server which you want to connect so in my case i want to connect to for example this server okay let's just and after that you just put uh, click on ssh and hit open and open so then it will ask you for login okay maybe it's uh, the font is small maybe we can do one thing we can click on this icon here we can go to something like change settings uh, appearance and uh, basically you can change the font from here increase to something like this let it bold do we have Arial? no okay this is fine for us so hit ok hit apply yes so i hope now you can see bigger here so login as root and then you need to provide the password so linux will not show the it will not it will mask automatically so you cannot see i'm, I'm tapping your password okay so as you can see that we are already in our system right now let me just clear this so right now we are in a linux terminal so we can use all our linux command for example ls so this is our root and uh, cd etc and then ls and this will give us all the etc files blah 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 also if let's say we want to read something like ntp conf so we can just so use something like nano text editor to read uh, any text file so n uh, ntp dot conf so with that you can actually go also you are you can actually edit things there if you want okay so with this nano editor is very convenient so because right now what you can see is right now i'm in my windows but i can simply see the linux not only uh, i can just execute some of the command but i can also install and update packages there since i have yum there so i can just use uh, something like man and see uh, we have all yum access so make sure you have the root access then only you can update or you are the super user then only you can install through yum library so yum install uh, something like that some packages if you want something like samba so then if you have internet connected then it will look for that and since i think that is not connected to internet that's why i'm receiving this so just cancel that one other thing that is actually very important from windows to linux actually uh, let's say if you want to see uh, some process or if you want to kill some process so if you want to see that there is very handy linux command there which is top and once you type this it will show you uh, the is actually the you know the process viewer is a kind of a task manager which is visible inside terminal so here you can see the program PID uh, user and uh, I mean here you can see the command which is running here so what are the things which is running right now okay so and it's up to you because right now with you have actually full access to the Linux server so whatever you want to do you can actually do there so 
Putty actually give you access to that level and once you're done with your session you can actually uh, close terminal and also you can close from here yeah so if next time if you want to start you can go and put your IP address there make sure you have SSH selected and uh, I think that's it for this video and there are a few other options which is actually that is uh, related to the appearance behavior I mean it's fine you can but the core idea is this you can easily go to the terminal of the Linux servers with putty okay so that's it for this video I will see you in my next videos all right thank you guys